it is time to build an AI system into our FPS project. And because I don't want to bore you off in doing only one long video, we'll do multiple short ones instead. So this is what we're going to do in this video. We're just going to make a basic AI that follows the player. They kind of look like zombies, but it's AI and it's working. And if you're wondering, the game runs at above 100 FPS, even in Quad HD. Let's see how you can do that. First of all, we are going to need a nav agent. What that is, is a separate file that you need to include into your project. This, of course, will be down in the video description. And all you're going to have to do is drag it and drop it into your assets folder. Now, what this does is it adds in a editor these scripts and it adds some some more scripts. But what we're interested in here is baking walkable areas. Now, what I mean by that is if we go into our root map, we're going to see that I have already baked where the AI can walk. I can clear it, obviously, and I can show you how it works as you can see now i have nothing baked in here so i all i have is this base mesh and all i'm going to do is hit bake now obviously this is going to create some areas that the ai should not be able to walk to but we can fix that off camera like in here for example okay after having done that your ai needs a nav mesh agent what this is is a unity component that it if you type just nav, you can uh, add it from here. And I've already added it. These are the specifications, if you care to know, speed 3.5 and etc. etc. And all that's left to do now is to build some kind of controller. So what we have in here from previous episodes is a AI controller that has almost the same behavior as the normal FPS controller. So this one right here. Okay, so what we have in this AI controller is a animator that we've discussed in previous episodes. We have a vertical input, which I shall delete right now, and I'll write it again. And then we have this nav mesh agent that I've just talked about. So what I'm going to do is add a way to control the vertical input of the AI. So it's going to be a simple float variable. And then we're also going to need a nav mesh agent. So simply say public nav mesh agent and simply call it, I don't know, agent, I guess. And now we have a reference of this nav mesh agent. Now we can access all of these variables in here. So what we want from here is to control this speed so we can actually walk. And we want to set the destination, which we don't have as a variable in here. So here is the set destination visualize. So I'll delete it and I'll write it one more time. And to calculate the destination, I am simply using a vector three distance to calculate the distance from the AI all the way over to the controller, or should I say the player. If this distance is less than a threshold distance that I've set as a sensor distance, 100, then this should set the destination to this controller. So the way we're going to do that is by saying agent.setDestination. This, of course, takes a vector3. So we're going to pass controller.transform.position. And that's it. We have successfully set the destination of this nav mesh agent. After that, we want to tell the AI to actually walk to that destination since we already set the destination. So all that's left to do is to walk there. And if this returns a false, which means the player is outside of the sensor radius, we want to stop walking. And then we simply set the agent speed into this walking input. Save that and go back to Unity. What you should have is a animator, which you should already have from the previous episodes, which is this one. And then you should have a vertical input and you should have also a agent, this nav mesh agent. Now you can get this nav mesh agent by just dragging and dropping it in here. But of course, we're gonna get it via script. So to get it, you simply say agent and get component nav mesh agent. You save that and then you're set to go. And what's left to, for you to do is to simply hit play. Assuming you've got to this point, you should see your AI running towards you. If we get out of the play mode and we set the AI distance or the threshold, whatever you name it, to let's say 10, some of the AI should not 
look at us at all. I'm gonna put the game into one side so we can visualize it better. Okay, so I've got the scene in one side and the game in one side. Let's see what happens. Okay, as we can see, these AIs right here don't even look at me. But if I approach them closer, okay, they start following me. And that's basically all we're going to do in this video. In the next videos, we're going to set the destinations for these police to start to the other side of the world, or should I say the map, and patrol some spots. And if we get closer, they should start shooting at us. Thank you for watching. That's all I have for this video. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next videos.